sports fans and baseball fans, we're here today with game three of the 2005 American League Championship Series as replayed by me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, the main man. And today, um, the game, the series moves to Anaheim or California or Anaheim, Orange County of California on the West Coast, whatever they were calling themselves. And uh, the White Sox, um, well, I'm not going to tell you what the White Sox come into this game, into this series in the replay as or what the record of the series is so far. Two games have been played, two, and uh, you can go back and check those out if you want to know what the state of the series is at this point. But for the homestanding um, Los Angeles Angels, we will have Bartolo Colon. Who doesn't remember Bartolo Colon? Colorful guy. Hit his first home run when he was like 48 years old. Um, and he'll be going up against Freddy Garcia. Now there are some lineup changes to tell you about. <clears throat> which are different from the previous games. For the White Sox, um, Carl Everett will be the DH this game in place of the Big Hurt because the Big Hurt is hurt. He was injured last game, I believe, for uh, the balance of the game, which at that point was, you know, not very long because it was only the eighth or ninth inning when he got hurt. And then two more games. So he will miss today's game and tomorrow's game. And for the Angels today, we will have um, Casey Kochman playing first base for the Angels instead of um, <coughs> um, instead of, let's see, Darren Erstad. Darren Erstad is not going to be playing today. So, with that having been said, um, and you'll notice the scoreboard that you usually see is not here. I'm going to try to do this by, um, and hopefully this will work out well, by writing on the screen what the inning is and what the score is. So, uh, in the editing process. So, hopefully that works out. Uh, well, and I got bigger dice today. I got some new dice in the mail, so hopefully you can see the readings on the dice better than the previous dice I was using. But with all of that out of the way, let's get on with this game. And the first bat is going to be Scott Pizednik. And he gets 3-5, which is a single one to 8. And that is going to be an out. He is out. And that is a line out to second base if you're scoring at home. Aaron Rowand gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball to third base, two away. Now, I will, I'm not going to tell you what the uh, this, um, series is right now after two games, but I will tell you that the teams, both teams, have had a lot of trouble scoring. And Canerco comes up and he gets a 6-8, which is a triple 1-2 or a single. And that is going to be a single for Mr. Canerco. And so Carl Everett is up, and he gets a 6-10, which is a strikeout. So the White Sox go down rather quickly. Canerco with the only um, with the only hit. And uh, let's see, single and out. And then we go to the second inning uh, for the White Sox. Yes, so we're all set up with that. And no runs come in for the White Sox. And uh, for the Angels, Sean Figgins is leading off as he was all series. And he gets a ground ball to the third baseman. He's out. Garrett Anderson gets a 2-7, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. And he is out. Creedy makes the play over to Canerco. And uh, Vlad Guerrero gets a 1-10, which is a single. And so he does get a hit as well. And I have not been writing this down. 
And that brings up Casey Gotchman, the aforementioned, or wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Nope. Um, that brings up Molina. Yeah, that brings up Molina. Okay. And he gets a 2-3, which is a pop-out to short. In the first, and it's 0-0 going to the second inning. And Jermaine Dye is up in the second to lead it off. And he gets a 2-7, which is a double 1-10. to And that is going to be a double. So we've got a leadoff double for Dye. One on, no out. Przinski is up. He gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball to right. One away. Greedy is up. He gets a 1-2, which is a ground ball A. Two away to third base. So 5-3. And Uribe, the shortstop, is up. He gets a 5-10, which is a ground ball to the shortstop, who is a 2, I believe. Yes, he is. And that is a 5, and he is out. So he bounces out 6-3. And uh, no runs come in for the White Sox. In the second, we go to the bottom of the second. And up steps Koch. Now Kochman is up. And he gets a 3-7, which is a strikeout. No, 3-6, that's a single. He gets a single. With the bigger dice, the, the uh, <laughs> I guess the downside of the bigger dice is if I make a mistake, you're going to see it. But anyway, he gets a board with a hit. And Kennedy is up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. One away. Juan Rivera comes up. He gets a 3-4, and he lines out to second base. There's two down quickly again. And Cabrera comes up, and he gets a 3-4, which is a line out to shortstop. And uh, we have uh, Tejito Iguchi up. Um, let's see. Let me get... And we go to the top of the third. Gucci's up. You get the 311. That's a ground ball shortstop. One away. So he bounces out six to three to lead off the third. And Pizednik comes up. You get the 3 8. That's a strikeout. Two away. And Aaron Rowan gets a 2 8. And he strikes out as well. And there is the uh, inning the top of the third for the White Sox we go to the bottom of the third in a scoreless tied game with Finley up at the plate he gets a 6-8 that's a triple one to two or a single and that's going to be a single for Finley now Finley has a little bit of speed so we're going to see what happens with him being aboard oh no he doesn't not this year he didn't he's a C he's going to stay right there Sean Figgins comes up. He gets a 5-9. That is a ground ball second base C, but it does move Finley to second. So that is a fielder's choice. Out. Garrett Anderson gets a 6-3, which is a ground ball first base C. So Canerco makes the play himself, but uh, Finley goes to third. And with two down... Vladdy comes up. Vlad Guerrero gets a 5-9, and that's a ground ball second base C. We go to the top of the fourth inning. And that'll bring up Pauly, Paul Canerco in the fourth. He gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. One away. Carl Everett gets a 5-5, which is a strikeout. And Jermaine Dye is up. He gets a 6-6, and that is a fly ball to right field. And no runs come across. And it's a common theme here in game three of this series. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and the Angels sending Molina to the plate. He gets a 6-5, which is a fly ball to uh, right field, one away. That brings up Kochman. There's Kochman with a fly ball right field B. That was his line, but uh, he got out. 
And that brings up Adam Kennedy, and that's in his line, and he gets a single. So Adam Kennedy gets only the third hit of the game. Wait, one, yes, the third hit of the game for the Angels, it appears. And Rivera is up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a strikeout. No runs coming across in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. Krasinski comes up. He gets a 5-7. That's a double 1-11. to No, no, no. It's a double 1-10. to The double 1-10, to and that is actually going to be a single. So Krasinski leads off the fifth inning with the White Sox third hit themselves. This is their third hit. Creedy is up at the plate. He gets a 3-8, and that's a pop-out to short. One away. Pop-out to four. Uribe comes up. He gets a 3-6, which is a ground ball. Shortstop into a double play. So uh, the White Sox get nothing in the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. In yet a scoreless game. Bartolo Colon and Garcia both pitching masterfully. Cabrera comes up. He gets a 6-12, which is a pop-out to short. One away. As that brings up Finley, he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. Two away. And Sean Figgins gets a 5-3. That's a fly ball to left. The left fielder is Pizednik, and he is a 2 and that is going to be a 19 and a 2. Let me check that. First thing I had to check this game, which is good, and he's out. So we go to the top of the sixth. The game is moving right along, as had the other games. Because, again, as I said, there has not been a lot of scoring in this series. And Tejito Taguchi, Iguchi, Iguchi, is up for the White Sox. He gets a 1-5, which is a strikeout. To lead off the sixth inning. Scott Pizednik comes up. He gets a 5-6, which is a strikeout. So, uh, um, Aaron Rowan comes up. He gets a 6-8. And that's a triple one to two or a single. And that is going to be a single for Pods. He's aboard with Canerco up at the plate. Gets a 6-7, and that is a ground ball. Second base. That's Kennedy, and he's a two. Ten and two at second isn't out. So they are out of the inning. Canerco bouncing out four three. And we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Let me take a drink here. With Garrett Anderson. Wait a minute. Oh, no. All right. I didn't. Right. Garrett Anderson is up at the plate um, to lead off the bottom of the sixth in a scoreless game. He gets a pop out to second base, one away. Guerrero is up. He gets a 2 8. That's a pop out to shortstop. Pop out to six, two away, and. Benji Molina, the pitching in this series, has been spectacular. He gets a fly ball, center field B. It's scoreless going to the seventh. Everett comes up. He gets a 4-6, which is a fly to center. Or wait a minute. Nope, it's a strikeout. Strikeout is looking at the wrong guy. Jermaine Guy gets a 4-8. That's a pop out to third. And uh, also, it's, uh, it's notable that Actually, Cologne's card, Cologne in 2005 was 21 and 8 with a 348 earned run average. And Garcia was 14 and 8 with a 387. And their cards look remarkably similar. So I guess even if I make a mistake, I'm not really making a mistake. You got a 612 for Przinsky, which is a pop out to shortstop. So pop out to six, no runs come across. We go to the bottom of the seventh, and Kochman is up. Kochman gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a ground ball shortstop. The shortstop is a two. That is an out. 
So that is going to be Kochman bouncing out six to three. Kennedy is up. He gets a one eight. That's a walk. He didn't have much in that column, but that was one of the things he did have. So he's aboard with one down and Rivera up, and he gets a two seven, which is a double one to seven or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk, and now the A's have a rally going. That's what you'd call a little bit of a rally with runners at the corners in the game like this, runners at the corners with one down. Cabrera is up. They're going to play the infield in for Cabrera. He gets a 3-7, and that doesn't work. It's a double 1-7 single. And it's going to be a double and knocks in a run. <laughs> Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. And so he and Kochman, or wait a minute, um, Kennedy ends up scoring. One run comes in. They're going to keep the infield in. Finley up. He gets a 1-6. That's a strikeout. Two away. They didn't want to do the extra base thing. They, you know, didn't want to risk it. And Figgins comes up. Infield is back, and that is a strikeout. And we go to the top of the eighth. With the Angels leading the White Sox here, one nothing by a shoestring. With Joe Creedy up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a ground ball shortstop, and he is out. So that's 6-3. to three. Uribe comes up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. Fly out to 7, 2 down, and... Tejito Iguchi gets a 6-10, which is a strikeout. And the White Sox are only going to have one more inning to get that one run, and the Angels have a chance to add to that one run right here with Garrett Anderson up in the, in the bottom of the eighth. He gets a 2-6, which is a single. So now all of a sudden they're hitting Garcia. Vlad Guerrero gets a 4-9, and that's going to be a strikeout, one away. Benji Molina gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball third base, double play, and that is going to be the end of the inning for the Angels. This has been moving right along, folks. Top of the ninth, it's 1-0, and the White Sox are at the top of their lineup, going up against Cologne, who has been masterful so far. And he gets a 112, which is a line out to second base. So he lines out to four. There's one down. Aaron Rowan gets a 4-6. That's a strikeout. They're down to their last out, the White Sox are. And that's in the form of Canerco. And he gets a 5-12, which is a ground ball to the pitcher B. So that goes one to three. And the White Sox lose this game incredibly by the score of one to nothing. And if you want to know what that puts the series at, <laughs> you've got to go back and watch the previous two videos. But that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.